So the PVS-14, you know, is probably the most ubiquitous night vision device out there uh, on the market. You can see the threaded hole to mount accessories like J-arms and other attachment methods too. For the PVS-14, for any kind of helmet mounting, you will need some sort of adapter arm because obviously our eyes are not placed in the center of our heads like the mounts are. So you'll need some sort of adapter arm to get it off to the side. It does also have some small holes here for mounting of a lanyard, threaded accessory retaining ring for if you want to mount something like a demist shield or rubber eye cups. I generally tend to remove this as I don't use either. And the objective lens is also threaded so that you can add accessories like light interference filters or some sacrificial lenses. So these two contacts on the side of the accessory mounted hole, they are actually an automatic shutoff circuit. If you look at the J arm, you see these little leaf springs that will interface with that. And really what that does is to allow you to activate the automatic shutoff function of the PVS-14. So in the USGI configuration with the J arm installed, and the contacts in place. When you flip this device up in the mount, it will automatically shut itself off. And one of the reasons for that is obviously, if you look at the orientation of that, when you flip it up, if that device was still on, you'd be seeing you know, what originally was a glowing green orb, now would probably be more of a glowing bluish orb. So this will automatically shut itself off. Couple of things about that automatic shutoff function. It sounds like a great function and when it works properly, it is. First thing, when you flip it back down, you will have to recycle the power knob in order to turn it back on. It will not turn itself back on automatically. The other thing about it is, hey, this is, to a certain extent, this is older technology. These USGI J arms that are issued with the devices are not the absolute best in military equipment. So the automatic shutoff function does not always function 100%, even in a fully mil-spec device. So haven't done it on this particular one, but a lot of the personal PVS-14s that I tend to use, what I'll do is I'll take a square of electrical tape and cover both of those contacts. By interrupting that automatic cutoff circuit, you'll no longer have that problem of the device shutting off at inappropriate times or undesirable times or have to deal with cycling the device if the automatic shutoff kicks in. It is a little bit more work than to have to always remember to use the switch, but come on, if you bought night vision, hopefully that's, that's within the realm of, uh, of things that you can do. Now, obviously I mentioned that the USGI J arm and really the USGI Rhino configuration, this setup has served, US service members have served people extremely well over the last 20 years. I deployed multiple times using PVS 14s with exactly this setup. It is once again, very much a classic. But just like we don't use M16A1s anymore, there are some better options that are currently on the market. The biggest upgrade, in my opinion, as far as your user experience for the PVS-14 goes, is to ditch that J-arm and to go with some sort of dovetail configuration. So this dovetail was originally designed by Litton for the PVS-7 Alpha, and it is just a much more stable mounting option. And that will allow you to use more refined mounts like this Neurotos Losto mount, which is dovetail mount. It's just much more stable and it's just gonna give you, you know, just a way better user experience uh, using dovetail mount. Of course, Wilcox also makes a dovetail style J-arm adapter that can be used with the PVS-14 as well. And most PVS-14 mounts, they will give you the option to swap from one eye to the other. That's why this dual dovetail adapter has two dovetails. I'm not really gonna go into which eye should you use it on. That is probably its whole other 
own video. Uh, there are some varying opinions. Just real quick, I'll say that my preference is to use the dominant eye most of the time. So that is the AN PVS-14. Again, TNVC, NGI, and lots of other folks carry multiple different versions of the PVS-14. Again, the primary difference between all of those is going to be what image intensifier you choose. The device is pretty much the same tried and true PVS-14. And obviously all of our PVS-14s, whether they're TNV PVS-14s or uh, NGI PVS-14s from Night Goggles, are covered by TNVC's lifetime limited warranty. So we cover the tube for a period of 10 years, as well as the system itself for the lifetime of the system.